G'day guys, welcome back into another video on the channel and in today's video I will be doing my round 3 tips and also going through my round 2 tips from last week. And let me just say I did pretty well, another good week of tipping for me for sure. I'm pretty happy with how I've gone um, over the last couple weeks. Um, so let's hope round 3 can bring me some good but before we get into the tips, please like and subscribe to the channel. We are gaining subs quite quickly now. We're back into the footy season, finally back with content doing quite well and everything doing quite well. But um, let's get straight into reviewing my round two predictions. All righty, as you guys can see, uh, round two got seven out of eight, 18 tips in total. Um, literally only getting three games wrong this whole year so far. Won every round. It's pretty disappointing. I can't get a perfect round. I'm ranked 2,561 in Australia out of about 150k, which is fucking amazing. But obviously, started off the Thursday night. Tipped the Saints. They um, actually got the jump dog by 15 points. I tipped them by 10, so it's pretty close. Friday night, which was the Cats. My cat is taking on the Crows. Pretty happy with who I tipped. Tipped the Cats to get over the job, the job done. Um, and they definitely did, though. I tipped them to get the job done by 14. They got the, trip, the job done by 9, 10. I could have actually gotten it with an O'Brien late, literally on the siren, but it was punched over for a behind. So it was only 19. So I was five points off that prediction. But I'm happy, got the tip right. Two pretty hard predictions gotten right to start off round two as well, which I was pretty happy with. And obviously, Saturday continued with Freo v North. North were on, it was 53 to 19 at one stage. And Freo kicked like nine in a row or something ridiculous and went 102 to 76. They ended up winning by 26 points, which is bloody amazing away as well. Um, pretty good win for them. They, they've they started their season 2-0, um, which is good for them. And the Ds absolutely dominated the Hawks. Um, the Hawks has played absolutely appalling this whole, whole game. They didn't kick a goal in the first quarter. They only kicked one behind. Ended up being 93 to 38 ended up being 57 points, which is ridiculous. The Ds start their season off 2-1 and one as well. Pretty good start for the Ds. I didn't expect them to start this well. I probably expect them to have at least a win. And it was probably this game. I didn't expect them to win last week, to be honest. But I did. Um, and then another high-scoring game. I was on patch stream, um, if you guys saw. Um, 131, the Swans to 101, Essendon. The Swans dominated. Um, it was actually quite a close game and, um, up to that third quarter. In that last quarter, the Swans just pulled away. Getting the job done by 30 points. A really high scoring game. 232 points combined, which is absolutely incredible. Both teams scoring over 100. And this was another upset. I should have only stick, stuck with the two. I was debating where I should tip the Suns or not because they had a good start to the season. They had a few good wins at home, but away. They start their away 0-1 and, and they're 2-1 and to start the season. Losing to the Dog 115-67. They had no... They had a bits and par parts of the game where they showed... A bit, but they didn't show too much and got that tip wrong. But finished the round off strong with Port v Richmond. Uh, it was a pretty good game. And that last quarter, Port just absolutely dominated. That la those, yeah, it was seven points at three-quarter time. And then Port just absolutely dominated in that last. Another pretty high-scoring game as well, 122 to 92. And, um, yeah, Port got the job done by 30 points pretty comfortably in the end. West Coast v GWS. Um, West Coast didn't kick a goal into that third quarter, or they did kick a goal. They kicked their last goal was in the start of that first quarter. They didn't kick a goal in the second, and they took so long to kick a goal in the third quarter. Giants got the job done, 108, 43, getting the job done by uh, 65 points. A really, really good win. They've gone three in a row, three and zero to start the season. They're probably the favourites to win the grand final so far. And obviously, the Lions and the Blues both had buys. But let's just go straight into my tipping comp to see where everyone's placed in it. Um, as always, if you haven't joined the tipping comp, go ahead. Go join it um, if you haven't already. We have about 80 odd members, 83 I think we're at. The round average was 6.1. And then the running average, which is the amount of points people have, is around um, 13, um, 13.9, so about 14. Few people got perfect rounds um, here. As we saw, um, Black Flash, Fawzi, um, and Heston and getting perfect rounds. They got five points. But um, yeah, Skipper's still up there at fourth. Uh, Graz fifth. I'm sixth in my comp. Um, I got, I've literally only gotten a couple tips wrong, and I haven't had a perfect round yet. So it's pretty disappointing that I'm sixth. But um, I reckon sometime this year I should get a perfect round at one stage. We'll have a look who's in the bottom three as well. Let's say he's lurking quite low down. Alrighty, bloody hell! It's similar to what it was. Up the ruse is eight tips. Finn is on eight tips, and ESPN fan whatever. I'm not going to read all those numbers. Is on nine. They're not the best start for these three. They haven't started off too well. Geordie Pluto's around there. Bailey 
has boosted up. Big Red was last for a while, but he, he got zero in the first way. He got six and six, so he's bounced back a bit. So it's creeping up the spots a bit, but it's not looking good for them three, to say the least. Once again, if you haven't joined the tipping comp, link in the description to join, but we're going to get straight into my round three predictions. All right, we're going to get straight into the tips and predictions for the round. Starting off on the Thursday night, a pretty good game. Both teams are winless. We've got the Pies v the Lions at the Gabber at 7.30 p.m. I reckon this is going to be an absolute cracker. I reckon the Pies are going to start the season 0-4, which is ridiculous, and the Lions are going to get their first win and win by 12 points. Bounce back, start their season off. They're the favourites by quite a lot here as well. It's in the Gabba. They haven't lost too many games here, obviously, in a while. They've only lost the Blues at the start of their season, obviously, with that absolute comeback and a half by the Blues. But, um, yeah, I, I don't I don't see the Pies win this game, really, to be honest. I see the I see the Lions getting a 12-point win here. Now, we've got the Good Friday game. Last year was all right. It was all right the first half, and then the second half was. And I'm not going to go to this game this year because I don't think it's going to be too good. 4.20 at Marvel Stadium on the Friday, just bef uh, Friday twilight game at Marvel. Um, we've got the Blues v. North, obviously, for the Good Friday game. I reckon the Blues are absolutely going to roll the, uh, the ruse here. Um, they're going to win by 43 points, in my opinion. I don't think they're going to show up um, north any stage of this game. Blues are heavy, heavy favourites as well to start in this game as well. They haven't started the season too bad at all. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they haven't started the season too bad. They're 2-0, and and obviously last week they had the bye, um, so they haven't started it too bad at all. If they get this, they're 3-0 to start the season, which is pretty good to see. Now, I reckon this could actually be a better game than what people are thinking. Um, the Dockers take the Crows. I reckon the Dockers, they're, they're going to be a fortress, I reckon. They're going to they're gonna play really well in Optus Stadium um, this year, I have a feeling, because I've already knocked off the Lions um, here. Um, and the Crows haven't started their season. They're going to want to bounce back. They're 0-2. But I reckon the Dockers are going to get the job done by 22 points here um, at 7.30 on the Friday night after the Good Friday game as well. Doubleheader on a, on a Friday is pretty good to see. Um, but we'll have to wait and see um, to see if the Dockers... Um, can beat the Crows here. Saturday, Twilight, 4.20 at Marvel Stadium. Probably going to head to this game for the first game of the round that I head to. Um, the Saints take on the Bombers at Marvel Stadium. Um, I don't know why it's getting played at Marvel. It's a bit odd that it's getting played there, but um, I definitely do see the Saints getting the job done here. They're looking really good there for their season. The, yeah, the Bombers have started their season all right. They're one and one. Had a pretty good um, game against the Swans. I reckon most Bombers fans should be quite happy with how they've played against um, against them, but um, some Bombers fans will be a bit disappointed. Obviously, they did beat the Hawks round one, which is pretty good for them. Um, but yeah, Saints are going to win this game by 19 points. I reckon it could be a closer game, to be honest, but I reckon the Saints will pull away in this game and win by 19. At the night game in Adelaide Oval, a pretty good game in my opinion. I reckon this could be the best game of the round. we got Port Adelaide v Melbourne, uh, third v fourth. Both teams are um, playing quite good footy. Port, obviously, they're two in a row, two and oh, uh, and Melbourne are two and one, um, but I reckon they will lose this game. They don't play too well at Adelaide Oval, but I reckon they can compete in this game, and Port are going to win by five points here. Connor Rosie and Zach Butters in the midfield have been pretty good. Charlie Dixon, he's looking a bit stiff. He, he doesn't look all good with his health and all that. Obviously, Finn Layson and Marshall in the forward line will be good for them. Um, Melbourne's Van Ruin Frito in the forward line is pretty dangerous as well with Track and Oliver in the midfield. They've been pretty good this season. Oliver's sort of surprised me with how he's played so far this season. But Trucks, Trucks been track. He's doing his job. He's playing quite well. And yeah, Port are winning by five points, I feel. Now we're on to the Sunday games. We've only got two. And then obviously we've got the Easter Monday clash after. Um, we've got the Dogs v. the Eagles at Marvel Stadium. Um, Dogs are heavy favourites, just like last year in the um, last couple of rounds. Dogs were heavy favourites, but they somehow lost. But I reckon the Doggies are going to absolutely roll with the Eagles with a good win against the Suns at home. Another home game for the Dogs. They're going to win by 39 points here against the Eagles. It could honestly be more than this, but I reckon the Dogs are going to compete. They're going to want to start their season um, with a couple wins in a row as well, which would be good for them. Obviously, they did start the season off with a loss against the, against the Ds by 45, but a, a massive bounce back against the Suns, who, were, who hadn't lost the game to start their season. They had beaten some two quality sides. Um, one of the sides is not expected to do too well, but I feel like Adelaide a bit overrated. But um, I do see the Dogs winning quite comfortably by 39. Um, a bit of an interesting game. Uh, potentially, this is probably the game I'll stream for the round. Um, Richmond v Sydney. Sydney don't play too well at the MCG, but they don't play too bad either. This is a 50-50 clash. I reckon it could generally go down to the last quarter, last maybe 10 minutes, 
or something like that. And then Swan says absolutely bang some goals on to get a comfortable win. And they're going to win by 25 points, I feel. Um, but it definitely could be a good game for sure, I feel, um, on the Sunday Arvo. But um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Now, Monday, the Monday clash, the Easter Monday clash, the Cats v the Hawks, my favorite clash. Um, I, both, I like both clubs, to be honest. I don't have any hatred for the Hawks. I don't mind them. I like watching them. I know a lot of Hawks fans probably hate the Cats quite a lot. I know a couple a couple definitely do. Um, but I reckon the Cats are going to absolutely roll them. Start their season off 3-0, and o, which is ridiculous because people were thinking they're going to start their season 0-2 or maybe even 0-3. But they've started at 2-0, and o, beating two decent clubs that are expected to do something this year. The Cats are going to by 46 points, I feel. though They're the favourites coming into this game. Um, and I feel they will start off the season quite well with a win. Obviously, the Suns and the Giants both have a buy as well. They were my tips for round um, three. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel as well. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be a match day vlog or something like that.